And this evening, indeed, it's a special one. I've got the incredible one and the major one. This all happening on your world. Today, this evening, I'm joined by two of uh, some, if you may uh, say, the most recognizable um, charismatic uh, preachers in the world, or not just in South Africa, because indeed televangelists and obviously on the line, uh, I mean, on, on your internet lines and all that. So, my guest today, Paseka, Prophet Mboro Mutsweni of the Incredible uh, Church, happen uh, Incredible Happenings Church, and of course, the major one, Prophet Shepherd Ushiri from ECG. Gentlemen, men of God, may I call you? <laughs> Let me welcome you both uh, to uh, your world. Um, it's, it's indeed uh, quite an honor having both of you here to, 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 together. Uh, Pastor, or rather, Prophet Bushiri, let me just start with you. Um, there has been talk um, all over uh, internet, social media, newspapers, and uh, just on, you know, on the street, people talking about this, this tension, fights, and you know, there's no peace and no unity amongst uh, the preachers, more especially in the charismatic churches. But here we are today, I'm seeing, I'm hosting you and in the temple. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, first of all, to, uh, to be welcome on this wonderful show. Uh, uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, first, three, I'd like to say, um, it's quite interesting to have um, that, you know, conversation in regards to the board of Christ and the unity and the peace. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, once again, thank you so much that uh, today you have sat us together with a great man here, man of God, mm -hmm. uh, which is an amazing thing to, yes. to, 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 to in the first place, to, to happen. Uh, it's true that, um, that there's so much, you know, tensions in the board of Christ. Uh, uh, that actually in the world and um, we're just supposed to be in that way because we are men of God yes. and we need to be the examples of the world because we are that light which mm -hmm. is supposed to shine in darkness yes and um, uh, there's really quite a big challenge which is supposed to be solved yes and that is to have great understanding and million understanding it's the same way um, when you have People, it's not, a, it's not a matter of, 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 of how is this man of God doing it, mm -hmm. but it's a matter of why him, Yes, you see, and which is supposed not to be there. Mm -hmm. um, when I was greeting the man of God here, I did a mention to him that uh, you, you started ministry way a long time ago before us, you yeah. know, Yes. Uh, and he has been in this country on the TVs, on mm -hmm. the... You know, he did a great foundation as far as uh, the prophetic is concerned in this country yes. before all of us we came into this country. Yes. And uh, we need to understand that, that, that this is how it's supposed to be, where we recognize and you know uh, uh, the great men of God we have in our country. Yeah. We have a lot of men of God in that country. Yes. Yeah. So it's true what you're saying, that I, there's a lot of tensions, but it's not supposed to be in that way. How did you meet uh, uh, <coughs> Tempor, uh, with um, well, what people thought was your enemy number one? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy that you know we we talking you know um, that's that's in that's all in the past you know uh, what, what what had happened? No, look, I've been uh, reading articles, and uh, there were matches. Uh, you know, Prophet also had, there's still a process I'm working on for that Antonio, there were those battles and other prophets, these fights. Mm. Then I've watched how the name of God is destroyed. Yeah. And when one pastor go through something, mm -hmm. the others rejoice. And I saw pastors creating things, gimmicks, mm. to mm. destroy others. Mm. And then I felt that there's a guy who, who approached me and he said, hey man, you know, you and the prophet, uh, you've got, you know, your enemy. I said, no, you know, I, I feel for that man what he's going through. He said, surely, are you sure? I said, yeah. He said, is there anything you can do? I said, yeah, I will, I will support the man of God. And uh, somehow, the prophet, because 
you know, you can't just uh, get him. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, he's one of those <laughs> uh, people. And then I, I got a call from the prophet. Yes. You know, uh, I couldn't believe it. I said, no, no, if it's you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I need a short, short, short. He said, no, uh, do me a, what do you call it? A FaceTime. Video, video call. call. Video call. And, and, and so on. He said, my brother, I need you. Yes. So when a, 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 a man of God say, I need you, I need your assistance, mm. and I recognize you, and while in my heart it's been there, we even prayed at church, mm -hmm. you know, to say, you know, what is happening? I know, we'll talk later, you know, there's been a lot that has been happening, okay. you know, uh, from between our ministries. Yes. And then I said, but I feel God has put me in this position yes. to, to come through for the man of God yes. and, and, and find a way to reconcile and iron things out. Okay. Because some things can be true, some things cannot be, but we need to meet and sort things out. By the way, uh, uh, um, uh, Prophet Bushir, um, well, Prophet Mboro here, um, I mean, has, I would say, has seen it all um, in terms of uh, <laughs> um, print media, um, <laughs> things that we have read and I mean you would be at pains to say look guys I didn't do this it's not <laughs> true it's not you know and all that but it's very difficult I can imagine as a man of God who has to shoulder the responsibility of leading and shepherding uh, excuse the part shepherding this flock of God but you have to also be dealing with some of this side shows mm. How do you cope? Um, I think it would it, be more better if um, I, I, I get your question clear on that. How do you cope when um, every day there are allegations of things in your name, uh, allegations of things about you, about your church? I think, <laughs> let me start with uh, what I was saying before, to yeah. say, um, it's quite a, a, a big challenge. You know, when God was calling me, he never promised me peace. You know, he told me that you'd be rejected, you'd be persecuted. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why he uh, was so surprised when I called him, because I understand what he went through. One time my wife said to me, he said, she said, you know, uh, this prophet, we hear a lot of stories about him. And uh, uh, one time, he did the mention, I think I had an interview with you. Yes. He did the mention to say, no, one of the workers of Prophet Bushiri he is fighting me in the social media. Mm -hmm. And immediately we heard that we fight the person mm -hmm. because we don't promote that, you know. We don't promote that. And, you know, it's, it's, and when I met him, I told him the story. I said, you know, to, to stay with people who fight men of God, you know, uh, I don't think it's a good idea because that's the same thing I go through. Yes. I understand better when a man of God is being accused of things. You know, he never said, he never did them. And just to put, just to destroy his name mm -hmm. is quite a big thing. You know, to cope uh, having allegations and having all those things and having the ministry, uh, I would say, you know, it's, it's not easy mm -hmm. to, to, to say. But at the very same time, you know, if you want to have these lights we're having in the studio. You know, there is a negative wire and a positive wire Correct. to produce light. So sometimes you need, you need both, you know, both wires. If you want to have the positive wire, you want to produce light. So negative media, positive media, all those things produce light. So okay. I would say all things work together for good to those who love God. How do you feel that, Embor, that, I mean, the man of God has come clean, that they even fired the person who was doing things in his name. And uh, that is it. What happened was that thing went for a long time. I was international. Boro went to heaven. Even CRL spoke about it. And they, they, it was promoted all over. And our investigations found that Kelvin, you know. Uh, but they find it after. But you see, when it happened, it took some time. Yeah. And my name was, was messed up. And we came to your show here. Yes. And I felt that how does that time, you know, a man of God, you know, why 
are these things allowed? Mm. Uh, but instead of hitting back, I have learned something. You see, I've been around in the ministry, as he says. Mm. Uh, you can't fight hate with hate. I had to be a man of God. I felt God is testing my character. Okay. I'm going to, to put it because I'll see it later. All right, now. Right and I'm now. happy that, uh, sorry, I forgot to, I'm happy that, you know, finally, when things happened in his life, you see, I didn't even know that he honored me that, that much when we met, you know, uh, how much he appreciates mm -hmm. uh, 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 my, my, my ministry. And when he came to me, and already my heart was there to say, but why this man of God? Because I've been there, I know the pain, <laughs> you know. And, 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 and that, for, 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 for me, instead of hitting back, we felt that let's use it as a reconciliation to reconcile the body of Christ. Because Christians from this church and that church, they will create gimmicks to destroy that pastor mm. and that pastor and, and our unity and forgiveness. And he said, you know what, I apologize on what they have done, yeah. but it's not my will. You know, I even fired the guy. Okay. So for, for me, I'm happy that we can show people that we can forgive each other and help each other. And that, that, that is where I want us to go, uh, uh, Prophet Bushiri, because um, as a Christian community, more especially you, the leadership, you're supposed to show the way. South Africa is an angry country. And the fact that there's two of you are here, for me, it also deals with this myth, not even a myth, but the reality of xenophobic attacks against fellow brothers and sisters from the same continent, that as Africans, there is this so uh, there's this much hatred amongst ourselves as a people that we are not supporting each other as Africans, and um, to have both of you here for me, I think kills more than one bed with one stone. Your comment? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> that's a, a great you know statement. That just to say it right here, you know, um, South Africa is a great nation and has got great people and wonderful people, mm. uh, and. Um, as you say, that it is, it's an angry country which, which needs to be healed. And us as leaders, us as men of God, mm -hmm. we carry that mission. You see, man, we cannot heal the nation if it starts with us mm -hmm. having misunderstandings and yes. fights and all those things. Yes. You see, this is why sometimes the person may think he's fighting you. It may not actually be the person who is fighting you. Yeah. They, you know, people, if they want, you know, if they want you to, to, to have more enemies, they'll create actually other enemies to fight the other person in the name of you. So you have got more enemies and the many enemies and they should think, oh, he's fighting me. Let me fight back. He's fighting me. Let me fight back. But you see, that's not what Jesus Christ told us. We are supposed to be the people who preaches peace. And I'm so happy I'm meeting the great man of God here and I'm with him. Uh, we have met, I think, twice th or thrice, mm -hmm. and we have had just not to discuss about or what people say yes. or what, just to have coffee, yes. you know, and talk about experiences which we have had for the past time. Okay. Uh, and um, this is what is supposed to be done. We are supposed to be the light of the world, the light of this nation. As we just said, to say South Africa is in the healing process, you see. Looking at the past of South Africa, it's in, in a healing process. And uh, we as men of God have the responsibility of preaching peace, okay. reconciliation, love, forgiveness. You see, this is why I even accepted to come over this show yes. so we can preach the people who are watching us to say, no, let's, we are not saving to Jesus Christ. No. There is one Christ. He preaches the same Christ. Yes. I preach the same Christ. Yes. So are those who are watching us on the TV. They preach the same Jesus. And the Bible says, oh, well, I don't want to go into the Bible, but, you know, um, gifts of the... Uh, yeah, it seems you're becoming a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it comes with packs, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> but, Ndadimboro, um, let's talk about the way forward. What are you, as men of God, going to do for the people of this country? 
Uh, number one, you see, I want to pass this. Uh, I've just celebrated my 50th birthday. And uh, uh, so I've got 50 weeks program. I'm celebrating a year, okay. not a day. Hashtag okay. borrow 50. So part of that is, uh, you know, all the attacks, people know me to be the enemy of the prophet and mm. him to be my enemy. Mm. To take that energy and support this man of God and I'll be meeting uh, the, 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 the rivals, the enemies, things that has been happening mm. and preach peace, you know. And I'm standing all the st in the middle of the storms to say, you know what, as men of God, and I'm going with him, we even spoke of others. We will be lifting up other pastors who are going down with, with the men of God. We'll okay. be changing people in many ways, uh, in a way that will glorify God. Now, Dr. Bashir, before mm. I let you go, there's this thing that you're taking 15 million every month uh, oh to God. Malawi. Where do you get that money from? Yeah, I think that's a, it's a, it's, it's a crazy question, and it's a crazy thing, you see. And as I said before, I had an interview before to say, where is that person who says that? Because he who alleges must prove. Yeah. You see, to have that allegation is a, such a serious thing. You know, if I was really, you know, good of that, I would, have, I would have left the country. You know, I could be so scared to say, oh, I'll be arrested, I'll yeah. be, do, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm here, and I'm saying I'm here. If you want to come and investigate, why are you not coming to do it? Because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that investigation because they, uh, the Bible says they shall know the truth and the truth will make them free. Okay. So, you know, those things, trust me, there'll be even more and more stories that will be coming, you know, Prophet Bushiri this, Prophet Bushiri that. But we thank God we are living in a country which does not, you know, just do things mm -hmm. by hearsay. Yes. You know, they investigate. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever they hear, whether police, yes. hawks, you know, they investigate whatever rumor they hear. Mm -hmm. So I understand and I believe they are doing the investigations and very soon all these things will be cleared out. Okay. Uh, are you the only ones who bless or uh, can I also uh, bless you being here? Oh, but before you bless us, uh, uh, happy birthday once again. Uh, hashtag Prophet Impolo. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, much. I can't believe it's 50. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you're talking about a blessing. <laughs> yes. No, I wanted to really just say, may God kindly bless you. Um, as you continue with uh, your, your work, because you have a huge responsibility. There's a lot of people who believe in your leadership, both of you, and uh, you need to, to have your thinking right and your mind in the right uh, frame so that you can be able to to, to ensure that um, God's work uh, goes unhindered. I thank you very much for the time that you, you, you really made uh, to come to the show. No, thank you so much. Thank you. Hashtag Borrow 50 Pop! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was Prophet Shepherd Bushiri of Enlightened Christian Gathering and Pastor Pasek Amborom, Swinning of Incredible Happenings, just joining us live right here. So we're going to let them go.